<laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Hey, what's up, Tube Nation? <laughs> Haven't seen you guys in a month or so. Has it been more than that? I don't know. That rhymed. Um, I'm so embarrassed. First of all, nice to see you guys again. Ignore the messy background. I feel like I'm just in a tornado of chaos right now. And, ugh. Okay, first things first. I'm sorry I haven't posted in a month, okay? Listen, listen, listen. I tried to. Um, I filmed a part three of that series that I was doing and I didn't like it. I didn't like it. The ending of the story was so anti -clim can't speak. The ending of the Sasha story was so anticlimactic and the ending sucked. Wasn't, I felt like that did nothing. Ah! Sorry universe. Dude, okay, just chill. The end of the story was sucked. I was already mad that I had to edit a part three of that story. I was over it. Um, and I literally had a mental breakdown over editing part three. And so I just didn't do it. But a lot of you guys have been blowing my phone up asking me where part three is because you guys are so invested in the story. Um, I scrapped the whole thing. But I also don't want to re-explain the ending of that story. So I did upload just that part of me talking about it. And it's it's an unlisted video. If you want to know what happens at the very end of the story in under two minutes, just click the link in the description. And, but here we are now. And it is the day before Coachella. Coachella is tomorrow. That's right, it's tomorrow. And it's already 8 p.m. I'm still not packed. I still don't know what outfits I'm wearing. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by ThreadUp. It's festival season, ladies. And I know you guys are stressing out about your outfits, what you're gonna wear, how you're gonna show up, show out. And if you're like me, you love saving a buck or two or three or 90. I feel like everybody here can agree that we all love a good bargain. I hope that we all like to shop ethically. I would assume so. I would hope so. And that's where ThreadUp comes in. ThreadUp is an online thrift store, but it's not your typical thrift store, okay? They have so many name brands that you love. Literally any name brand that you can think of is on ThreadUp. And they have huge savings over there with your favorite brands. I personally love ThreadUp because they have women's clothing, they have kids' clothing, and they have brands like Free People, Urban Outfitters, just so many different designer brands and just any brand that you can think of honestly and you can find some really good stuff for up to 90% off okay and thread up also believes in a sustainable fashion future that's why in celebration of earth month yes they celebrate earth month as an entire month not just a day we love them for that thread up wants to spread the word about how the clothes that we wear have the power to create change did you know that buying one used item instead of a new item saves enough water to make an iced coffee every day for four years? <sighs> what? That's why I'm stoked to show you guys all the cute things that I ordered from ThreadUp. So this is the first top, it's so cute. It's a red crochet top. I thought it was perfect for the summer. I'm really loving how red looks on me these days. I don't know why, I'm just really feeling red. This one is from Streetwear Society. This top was originally $36. Guess how much I got it for on ThreadUp. $19.99 people, are we kidding? This next top is by BDG, okay? Obsessed with this color. I'm obsessed with this color. It's coral, it's a vest kind of, it's like a vest shirt. I'm not one to wear something like this usually because it kind of looks like a sweater vest, but I'm loving this one on me. I don't know, it's very flowy and free. The color is popping. This is one of my favorite colors right now. My entire bathroom is coral. I love coral, I love coral. And that top was originally $24. I got it for $9.99. Bargain. Bargain Town. Population, my hand. 
You don't understand. Well, now you understand. So the next top that I got is this really cute tie-dye crop top, tank top. This top is by Olivia Cius. I don't know how to say that. Olivia, oh wait, I think it might be Oliviacious. Oliviacious? And there's a little tie in the front so you can adjust how short it is. This is so cute. I love the colors. This looks really beautiful outside in the sun. And it also matches my little necklace. I also really love turquoise on me. So these colors are such a vibe. And you guys are going to freak out at this. This was originally $54. I got this for $13.99. Come on now. Come on now. The next top that I got is just giving me early 2000s, kind of 90s vibes. I haven't seen a shirt like this in so long. I don't even know if this is really in style, but usually the girlies are wearing crop tops right now. But this was just, I don't know. This is by Lucky, the Lucky brand, you know? I'm obsessed with the colors. I'm obsessed with the fit. And it has really great support. There's like a built-in padding right here. And it's, I just love this. I want to bring these types of shirts back. I used to wear shirts like this in middle school in the summer. And it says it's supposed to be a swimsuit top, but I kind of like this as a regular top. Like this is kind of a vibe as a regular top with shorts, or you could wear this as a swimsuit top, whatever you want to do. I might switch it up and do both, heck. And this was originally $64. I got this for $23.99. Okay, this one is my favorite shirt out of all of the ones that I got. This is by the brand Out From Under. It's a halter top and I'm obsessed with these colors. I love natural tones and these are just all of the colors that I want in a clothing item. It's just perfect. It's very subtle. I love the way it fits and I think that I'm gonna wear this to Coachella, honestly. I don't give a f I don't care if it's not like that flashy. I think it's so cute. Sue me. This was originally $36. I got this for $11.99. $11.99! Last but not least, I wanted to get at least one dress. This is by the brand Kimchi Blue. I think I'm saying that right. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that again. Kimchi. Uh, but this is such a cute sundress. I love the pattern. I love the colors and weirdly enough Even though there's no padding it still gives really good support I just love the way that this fits It's really tight in the waist section and then it flares out kind of like a skater dress I don't really mess with sundresses, but I really like this one. This dress was originally $60 and I got it on thread up for $17.99 What? And you guys definitely need to head over to ThreadUp, take advantage of all of their amazing deals. Just use my code SARAHB for 30% off of your first order and free shipping. Just scroll down a little bit to the description, tap that link, use my code, you're welcome. Thank you so much ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it. Literally the only thing that I have figured out at the moment is my sleeping situation. The only thing that I have, no, this is not a dildo. It's a hair dryer brush. It looks like a fat dildo. <laughs> Just on my bed. No, but the only thing that I have figured out is my van. I picked up my van today. I don't know if you guys remember my last Coachella video, but I rented a camper van. It was sexy. It had a kitchen. It had a bed. It had a shower bag um, and it was iconic. I went ahead and I rented another van. I feel like this angle is so Ako Taco. One second. Oh, you sacrifice, sacrifice. I can't draw these eyes. Oh my God. Just do not look behind me. It's just olive oil and vinegar. Just don't judge me right now, okay? I'm just trying to figure my life out. So what happened to me? Hey. <laughs> I 
literally can't win. Can't win. Okay. So. Oh my God. I think that this is just a sign from the Lord to just stop. Just stop it, girlfriend. Oh my God. This is a nightmare. Um, this is real, okay? This is raw. This is me. My bed is not made. Give me a break. <sighs> so I realized a week ago that me and Christelle have nowhere to sleep <laughs> while we're at Coachella. Just nowhere to rest our little heads. I realized that we have not purchased a camper van yet. I went on their little website and I made a request at two in the morning last week, assuming that I would be fine. When I went to go make a request for one of the vans, they were all sold out, queen. So I was stressing, but I'm like, I'll just call them tomorrow. So I go to sleep, I wake up the next morning and I get an email and they're like, hey, we just got your request, please call us. And I was like, okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. I call them. And he said, he said, he was so darling, his personality. What can I, what does it remind me of? His personality kind of reminds me of Uncle Joey on Full House. Just a goofball. Is my camera right there or right here? Oh, it's right here. Um, he's just a goofball, just a big goober. He was like, hello, so-and-so camper vans, how can I help? And I was like, oh my God, love you. I was just like, hi, I made a request last night. You told me to call you back, so I'm calling you back. And he was like, oh, hello, Miss Baska. And I'm like, oh my God. And he basically, he basically told me that I requested the last van throughout all of their different locations. Okay, and they, I guess they had a location in Las Vegas. They had a location in the Bay. There was a location in LA. And I got the last van in all of those locations. I don't know why God was on my side that night. And then he literally told me, he was like, if you, if you didn't call me back in the next hour, I was gonna give that last van to the person behind you. There's a wait list if you didn't call me back. And I was like, oh, wow, that's iconic. But now I kind of feel bad for the people on the wait list, but also just like, I got here first. That's only fair. I was so relieved. I was like, thank you so much, brother. I forgot what his name was. I think it was Keith. I'm just gonna call him Joey. So I thank you so much, Joey. Oh my God, what an angel. I wish I would have recorded this phone call because he was such, he was such a sweetie pie, just anchored in kindness. He was just giggling at me and we were just having a giggly time. And we were talking about Coachella and stuff. Oh, I still had a roller in the back of my head. He was so excited for me. And then he said that the van that I requested was way bigger than the van that I had last time, I guess. And I was like, what? What do you mean this is bigger than the last one? How can any van be bigger than the last one? And he's like, no, this is like actually like a trailer, not a trailer, but it's huge. And it's the newest model, the newest version. And I'm like, that is so cute and lit and fun. And then he was like, and you're gonna love the design. And when you come here to pick it up, you're just gonna be gagged. And I was like, oh my God, I cannot wait to be gagged. Um, not by, not in like a weird way, but you know what I mean? Like, ugh. So me and Tony were, what did I name him? To Joey. Me and Joey were just ugh, having a good old time. And then I went on Amazon and I'm gonna do like a little unboxing. <laughs> a little unboxing. I bought so much shit for this camping trip. It's literally just gonna be me and Christelle. We're meeting up with our friends, but me and Christelle wanted to have our own campsite, just the two of us. And then we're meeting up with people there. But I just went so ham with the camping accessories. Ah, you guys are gonna laugh at me, but yes, I'm a little extra, but I think it's fun and funny. If you look at it in like a funny <laughs> thing, if you look at it, like this is funny, like why? 
Why, why did you buy that? It's for the bit. Um, and I'm not gonna show you guys the van yet. You guys are gonna see the van in my actual Coachella video. This is just my, Sarah is stressed the fuck out the night before Coachella and she's just trying to get her shit together video. It's not gonna be extravagant. I'm not gonna edit this at all. I just want you guys to join me in my anxiety. Cause why not drag you guys down with me? And also I just miss you guys. And I'm sorry for, <laughs> I'm sorry for just like needing space. Um, I'm sorry for just like leaving you guys like that. No, but I really am sorry. I just, uh, you know, but I feel a lot better. I want you guys to know that. I feel good. I feel inspired. I just feel ready to get crunk, baby. I just want to get crazy and crunk. And oh my God, I can't believe I'm seeing Harry Styles. That's going to be so crazy. There's so many people that I'm so excited to see. I haven't even sat down and really thought about the fact that I'm seeing all of these amazingly talented people in one weekend. I haven't even really processed that yet. I can't even process that I'm going to be there tomorrow. Oh, I, I need to finish my story. Um, so then last night, I'm laying in my little warm, cozy bed. I'm self-soothing with my cuddle pillow. It's wrapped around me like a human. And I'm just laying there and I'm thinking about all of the things that I have to do today. And I literally forgot that I ordered a van. I genuinely forgot about to fall. I know my OCD girlies are freaking out right now. Sorry. An image just popped up of me just driving a van. And I literally sat up like I was possessed and I was like, oh my God, I have to get my van tomorrow, but I don't even know what time. And cause I know that they're really strict about pickup times and stuff. So I grabbed my computer, look at my email and they sent me three emails and I felt so bad. I was like, oh my God, I completely ver I just spaced. And all the emails were like, Sarah, please respond and give us a pickup time. And then the next one, it's like all from Joey. Hey Sarah, <laughs> uh, regarding my last email, just uh, need you to call me. And I'm like, fuck, I'm so sorry. And so I respond and I was like, I'm so sorry. And then he emailed me back today and he's like, no worries, just come at four. And I was like, okay, I can do that. So I get there and mind you, it's like an hour away, which is fine. I get there. And once I'm done signing all the paperwork and paying the remainder of what I owed, the guy was like, all right, let me show you your van. And I'm like, all right, just expecting it to be a van. This is a boat. <laughs> this is a boat. This is a yacht. This is a home. It's a home. I literally stood there and I was like, <laughs> that that whale think pearl from spongebob with wheels it's that maybe bigger i audibly laughed out loud in the parking lot with this man and i'm like i i i'm supposed to drive that i don't have my voting license what do you mean i'm going to crash no i'm not i'm not i'm not trying to manifest that um, but that, oh my God, it's huge. But the paint job was really cute. I'm not gonna tell you guys what it looks like yet because I want you guys to see it in my video. You know what I'm saying? But it's so adorable. I think it's the cutest one on the lot. So I got really lucky with that. It was so much bigger than the one that I had last time. The, me complaining, God, I'm so sorry. This sounds so, it's just too big. It's just too nice. Like I can't drive that. Ew, what the fuck? Like, I'm sorry. I, I really don't mean to com complain about this. Like, it's a bad thing. Like, I'm so blessed and grateful that I'm fortunate enough to even sleep in this. But I was just baffled at the size of it. I was like, oh my God, I wasn't expecting it to be a motorhome. So he opens up the door and bitch, it is, it's literally the size of a room. Not literally but and i was just standing there i was like oh and then he was like now look up here and i was like oh and there was a literal bed it was like a bunk bed bitch it was like 
there was a bed above me too and if you pushed a button the ceiling lifts up and a bed po like pokes out it's a two bedroom home y'all it's a two bedroom apartment it it's i was i literally laughed he was like push this button and i was like it was like Noo. And I was like, uh, what, Joey? <laughs> what do you mean? Christelle and I were just going to sleep together in the van on the first floor. But now we have two stories. And the fact that I got that one, like I got the nicest one. Okay. I was like, I'll take it. Heck. Sorry, I'm giving Cindy Lou Who right now. He shows me all the little trinkets and doodads in this van. And I'm just like, oh, cool. Cool. Okay. Got it. Cool. 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 <laughs> but in my mind, it was just this. I'm just looking at Joey like, cool. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Okay. I'll be fine. I know my mom's watching this like, <laughs> Sarah, don't joke about that. And my mom's probably going to be texting me right when she sees this segment of the video being like are you okay <laughs> be careful did you get insurance on it i did get insurance on it i'll be fine it's just like i'm a good driver i'm a good driver <laughs> no i am i didn't mean to laugh but like i am i'm very careful even ask my mommy i'm a good driver so it Am I breaking out in a rash? Or is it just, oh, I, I was testing lipstick at CVS. I think I rubbed it on my chin. Why am I breaking out in a rash? No, but like, what? I don't understand. Is that my skin? Oh my God. It's not lipstick, it's not coming off. I'm breaking out in a rash. I'm breaking out in hives. Ignore that. Um, so I get in this boat and I get my ass up out of there. <laughs> and I'm driving this thing feeling like a king. I felt like what I imagine Shaq feels like. Just the king of the road, conquering everyone around me. Just looking over, looking through everybody on that freeway. I just, God, I felt so, I felt so alpha. I felt in charge. I felt like I could boss anybody around on that freeway. And I looked cute, like the paint job was so cute and I was so big and I was sitting up above literally everybody. And like, I was literally eye level with the semi trucks. I was sitting pretty with the semis and it just felt so good. And I could tell that people were respecting me. I just felt like the quarterback or the pitcher. Now it's like 6 p.m. and Street parking is a nightmare where I live. It's so hard to find street parking, especially after six. This car is a whale. It definitely stands out in a crowd, you know? And <laughs> and where I live, the streets are really compact and shit. And there's always people just driving, you know? I drive on my street looking for a parking spot and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, there's no parking anywhere i even drove down the street hella far there was no street parking i have a garage but i didn't know if this car could fit in the garage because not only is it a whale there's also the topper on the top so i'm like i just don't think this is gonna fit in the garage i don't i don't know what i was gonna i don't know what i was thinking i was gonna do for that situation i genuinely just wasn't thinking about it i think that in my mind i'm like oh I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out when the time comes. Well, the time came and I, I wasn't hyperventilating, but I was just like getting sweaty. And I'm like, uh, because I'm in this giant whale 
and there's cars <laughs> trying to get like I said it's a narrow road so cars are like trying to get through and I'm just looking for parking everywhere and just stopping in the middle of the street and shit just oh my god it was so embarrassing so I kept having to make u-turns and like pull out and turn my wheel and just keep oh my god it was and then cars are like lined up on the street waiting for this big whale to just turn its body around um oh my god I was finally able to turn mama around and I'm gonna try to park Miss Thang in the garage. And so, oh my God, there's like a, so I made the mistake of trying to get this beast into my parking garage and I got it through the gate. But then when it came time to get into the garage, I was looking at the ceiling and it was so close. And I'm like, I don't think that it's gonna make it. Something in the back of my mind was like, Sarah, just don't even try. Just back up and just get out of there. But then there's this other part of me where it was like, maybe it could squeeze in there and barely touch the pipes. But then the other part of me was like, just don't. Because if you try and you scrape the top, you have to pay for it. But then the other part of me is like, you can probably just like, you can probably make it, you know? uh because i had nowhere else to park it so i just listened to the good side of myself but then i was like oh my god backing out of this tight entry is so embarrassing my parking garage isn't big enough to actually turn it around and go out i would have to adjust and then pull out of it but the driveway is so thin like i barely got in it so oh my god you guys and as i was trying to get out there were cars trying to get in the garage. So there was like three cars outside of my apartment complex just watching me try to just back out so slowly. If I made one little turn on the sides. So I, oh my God, it was so embarrassing. And not only was I being so slow backing out it's just so humiliating that just the concept of these cars watching me back out after i soon realized that there's no way i can just go in there like they were all just probably like oh my god this bitch really thought that she could do that like what a fool they probably weren't thinking that this is just my anxiety talking but i'm just like oh my god this is so embarrassing because I'm not just like some van. I have a ridiculous paint job and I'm just so large. Literally some guy in the car was like, do you need help? And I was like, no, I'm God. Like, oh my God, kill me. I'm fine. Beep, 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 crash. I'm good. I'm fine. And they're like, ooh, I don't, <laughs> the airbag pops out. No, I'm fine. The car is literally steaming. I got it. Don't worry. Um, No, but I eventually got out of there and I'm parked outside of my apartment in my landlord's spot. He has like his own designated spot. And I texted him and I was like, yo, can I park this giant mammoth? in your parking spot just for one night, dude. Just for one fucking night, please, like please. And then he just texted me back as I'm recording this right now. And he was like, oh, sorry, you can't park there. It might get towed. So you're gonna have to move it and you might wanna park down the street. <laughs> and I was like, I already looked. You don't think I looked? I'm not stupid. Anyway, so I have to go back in that car and just try all over again. I'm getting a spray tan at 10.20. What time is it now? It's 8.30. Getting a spray tan at 10.20. And the thought of being naked in front of someone right now, it's just not, not the move. Thinking about me being in front of someone 
in this state of mind, naked, the most vulnerable version of myself, just raw, standing there with my cheeks spread apart in front of a stranger, sounds awful. It sounds absolutely terrible. And the fact that I have to make small talk with them, I frankly just want to walk in with my AirPods. I want her to come into the room and I'm just standing there naked <laughs> with my cheeks spread and I want to just have AirPods in. So if she even tries to talk to me, I can't hear it because noise cancellation. So I won't feel bad, you know, the less I know the better. I just don't want, so what are you getting spray tan for? Oh. <laughs> Oh, just Coachella, you know. I'm just probably the 263rd bitch that has said those exact same things to you today. And then you have to be like, oh, and like act interested. But I know you're not, or maybe you are. I don't know, I just know every bitch that came in today is tanning for Coachella. So it's like, we don't have to talk. Like I literally want to just be like, hey girl, if you genuinely are not interested in this conversation, do not feel like you have to participate in talking to me. You know, like I'm, I'll talk to you. We can talk if you want to, like I'm down. But also I'm just not in a good headspace and I can't just fake this. I will cause I like, I can do it. Just having to make small talk with someone while they're up close looking at your vagina you know, it's like, mmm, we're just ignoring what's happening right now. <laughs> we're just pretending like you're not staring at me naked. Like, oh, oh, my tits aren't just in your face right now. Oh, yeah, huh. I'm really excited to see Harry Styles titties out. She's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like oh my god I can't like usually that shit doesn't phase me I've gotten so many spray tans in my life I've gotten my vag waxed usually I don't give a fuck about that I can usually turn my anxiety off but right now I just this is the last thing that I want to do but at the same time I'm pasty so you know <laughs> what's it gonna be pasty or being so vulnerable with a stranger. But the vulnerability only lasts for like three minutes and then it's over. It's like, it's, I wouldn't call it torture. It's only torture for me tonight. And then I have to pack. I don't even know what I'm wearing. I should probably pack right now, huh? Um, <laughs> my camera died. But again, thank you so much ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys use my code SARAHB for 30% off of your first order and free shipping. So scroll down and click the link in my description and just have a hoot over there on that website. Um, and also, while you're watching this, I'm going to be at Coachella in the middle of a desert getting crunk. Just wait for my Coachella video. I'm going to vlog the whole thing. It's going to be so fun. And I'm going to be watching Harry Styles and foaming at the mouth while you're watching this. So... Okay, bye guys.